Oh, there's some rendering. And it's done. I just realized one of my lights is up. As many of you may know, I bought the new base model iMac, the 1299 M1 iMac that only comes with a 250 gigabyte solid state drive. And by the time everything's said and done, you get like 220 something. So me being a YouTube creator, I definitely need more storage than that. So I connected an external drive and then went into Final Cut Pro and shifted everything to go over to that external drive. Now, I can say I've not really ran across any issues with this. It's a little slow to render and I know that has to be due to this drive. So in this video, I'm going to test it out. I'm going to take my iMac and I'm going to use the same 25 or so minute video in Final Cut on the regular hard drive external just to see how long it takes to render on that external drive. Then I'm going to connect a one terabyte Samsung solid state drive that I'll then change all the settings in Final Cut to the solid state drive and we'll then put that same 25 minute video in Final Cut again and see how long it takes to render. So let's see if the solid state drive is uh, really worth it in the long run if you're using this type of setup with the base model iMac. So click that like button, click subscribe, indulge in your life at indulgeclothing.com for the merch, and now let's get into this. All right, so I have nothing else open on my iMac. We're gonna open up Final Cut Pro, and we're gonna time this to see how long it takes to render this footage on the regular external hard drive. Let's import some media. This is a video I did recently about the on streaming device. Now uh, I'm gonna use my phone. Now basically as soon as I drag these files over to here and drop them onto the timeline, I'm gonna start this stopwatch to see how long it takes to render. This is about 25 minutes of footage. We'll see how long it takes to render on a regular hard drive. So I'm gonna drag my videos, get them here on the timeline, and drop. So rendering is at 0%, it's loading the thumbnails, everything on this iMac uh, for all of the rendering of the videos is of course set to this regular hard drive. So we're 22 seconds in and we're at about 2%. Let's see how this goes. We're at 7 minutes and 40 seconds and our rendering is up to 56%. So we're at 75% now and we're just over 10 minutes. 12 minutes and 30 seconds and we are at 89 almost there it is 90% rendering. 99% there it is literally 13 minutes and 58 seconds. So that's how long Final Cut Pro took to render the files all going to this external drive. So let's hook up our solid state drive and see what kind of time we get. Now that my regular hard drive is completely unplugged, my solid state drive is plugged in. You can see here I have all these little markings. So I'm going to create these folders on the new drive, format it to uh, the correct format for Apple, and point all of these locations to the new SSD. So get into your disk utility, select your new drive, click erase, and then from this drop down here, select the select the APFS and then you can give it whatever name, final cut SSD. There we go. Erase. And then it'll do its thing and now it'll work with your Mac. You'll be able to create folders and all of that. The next thing you next thing you'll want to do is go to your new final cut SSD. If you won't have any folders and create three folders that match all of these names. There we go. We've got our three folders made on our Final Cut drive. We can then come over here and select Choose Location. So select our Final Cut drive, select Media, Choose, and now Media is selected on the external drive. Let's do the other two. Now the only one you can't move off is this Templates folder, which is fine. So now that these are all set, I'll click my OK button, and then uh, let's basically do the same thing. Let's pull in that same 26 minute video. I verified it was 26 minutes. And then we'll see how quick it renders versus how long it took on the regular hard drive. Alright, I've got my stopwatch. Now let's pull in that same media file, and then let's start. Again, while doing nothing, let's see Wow, I think it's already done. What? It's it's already the rendering's done. Holy crap, it's instantaneous. Oh, there's some rendering. And it's done. Wow, so that's I mean that's a lot better. That's very, very fast. There, that is so fast. 23% done. I mean I'm already at the end of this video. So uh I mean 12 seconds isn't even right. Literally on this on the solid state drive, the rendering is basically instantaneous. Amazing. Wow. 
Well, there you go. That's, uh, that's the answer. I must say, I'm quite surprised. I thought I was going to be waiting at least a couple of minutes, but it was literally instant. As soon as I dropped in the video, it was done, and it takes it like a split second or two to render something else. This should make my video editing on this base model iMac even smoother. You could, of course, get bigger than a one terabyte drive, a two terabyte, three terabyte, but this one seems to work perfectly fine and has more than enough space. Now, right now, it is just ran on this USB-C, like, SSD cable. I am going to get a real enclosure for this, I just don't have it yet. That real enclosure though will be a USB-C enclosure where I can put the solid state drive in there and I mean considering it's already instant compared to like 14 minutes, I don't see it getting any better. So if you have a base model iMac and uh, you're running out of storage on your local iMac, I would definitely suggest either one of these $15 cables with a large SSD or an SSD enclosure uh, to use as your external drive for Final Cut. That's at least what I'm seeing here. Hopefully this video has helped someone out. If you can, click that like button for me, click subscribe, indulge in your life at indulgeclothing.com for the merch, and we'll see you in the next video. Deuces.